What's going on guys? So a lot of people have been asking what it is that I do to train my chest because my chest is a little bit different than other people. Also the muscle is more solid, it's more firm, it's more condensed and it's mature. So one of the things that I like doing is doing a lot of presses to the point that I burn out. But at the same time, I do time under tension. I'm gonna show you guys what that means. And I also do a lot of contracting. Every movement that I do, I squeeze. And there's a reason for that. Every time you create a squeeze, you're pushing more blood into the muscle. And when you're pulling backwards, you wanna get that stretch. So now let me show you what I start with. I usually start with a press. This press right here, you could use any press that you want. You could use the ones that are just the machine, not the plate loaded ones. But this is one that we have here at the moment, so I'll show you what we do for a press. And let's start. I always start with a warm up, light weight. The weight doesn't matter. All that really truly matters is how much of the reps you're gonna be doing and the burn that you're feeling. Because the muscle, he doesn't know how much weight you're putting on him. He just knows that you need to tear up the muscle. How do you tear up the muscle and tear up the fibers? You go for a lot of reps till it burns. When it burns, I usually start counting. I just get a little bit of blood flow. The blood flow is more important than anything else. That's gonna also prevent you from injuries. More blood, let the muscles stretch, let the shoulders, the scapulas, everything, I stretch it. Forward, stretch it back, hold my scapulas together, tight. Then again, stretch and push with my scapulas as well. And come back and I'll feel it literally on my forearm, I'll squeeze my forearms, I'll flex my biceps, my tricep, everything. This is just to create the blood flow so we won't get injured once we go a little bit heavier. Now, for you guys, if you're a beginner or even if you're advanced, I highly recommend do a few of those. Don't pay attention to what people are saying or people looking at you in the gym going lightweight. I can lift five pounds and the way that I look, people will come up to me and be like, wow, you're doing a five pounder, that's amazing, bro. So what is that good for? See, they want advice because they see the way that I look. So it's not about how much you lift, it's more about what you look. Unless you're going for powerlifting, that's a completely different ball game, that's a completely different kind of uh, a training. Anything that you're doing in powerlifting has nothing to do with really building muscle that look beautiful for bodybuilding or for just being at the beach and looking the most aesthetic person out there. It's still a little light, it's two plates. But for me, this is lightweight. Go, 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 quick! Ah, you're in my... Part of the YouTube. It's part of the whole, you know, like raw YouTube stuff. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> what are you, are you actually shooting YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna say hi? Yeah. Middle of a chest workout, tell them what's up. Hey guys, okay, so right now we're gonna start off with um, incline, you know, easy, easy weight, four plates on each side for a little incline press movement. It'll it's target your lower. Huh? Tell them it's lightweight. It's lightweight. Um, Baby. Yeah, that's my warm up, but I, I, I'm guessing it's his warm up, right? Warm up? Uh huh. Warm up, yep. Mm -hmm. Like this. Like that. Four yep. plates, like nothing. We don't have to scream. No. No need to yell. No, quiet. Easy, come on. Trying to do it as quiet as possible. Baby food, baby food, goo goo gaga. And that's what we talk about, real support in the gym. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Let's go, let's go. It wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> I think I gave myself a brain aneurysm trying to push it. <laughs> no. good that's job. good, that's good though. Good job. Lightweight. All right guys, so now we're gonna go a little bit heavier than before. We have five plates now. And this is also gonna be lightweight for me. I'll go up a little bit higher. But I don't recommend going this heavy, guys. I've been training for many years, since I've been six years old. So that's 26 years of training. Obviously not in the gym, but I started working out when I was six. So for me, I'm a very strong guy. And if you're somebody that's a beginner, it doesn't matter what the weight is. Start with a 25, start with a 10. Just start, that's all that matters. So check this out, let's pump some more blood and we're gonna move on to the next machine. Or we might go a little bit heavier. Let's see if we can fill this one. Scapulas together. Boom. It's a little light. It's 
So on the eighth one, I'll hold it out just to get more blood flow. And boom. We're gonna take the shirt off. It seems like we're kind of exploding out of it. In Hebrew, we say kus emek. That means holy shit. All right. The pump is real. That's just the beginning of the workout. Six? Nah. You know you want to see seven. Call this one Gorilla Strength. All right, guys. We got seven plates on the bar on each side. That's 14 plates for just my chest. We could do this. Don't do this at home. Go light. I'm telling you, it doesn't really matter. This is an ego move. Ego for YouTube. Was that like four or five? Woo. Whenever you're doing chest, after you start, get that blood flow. I go and I do some back to create blood flow to the whole area here. So it's gonna stabilize you. And that's what I do. If you guys notice, everything that I'm doing is slow. Full stretch. Slowly bringing it down, holding. One, two, releasing. Once I finish doing the reverse, we switch the position for the hands. Do more pulls. Now that we have a pump everywhere, we can also really go heavier on flies. If you guys could see, I used to be a fighter and I dislocated my shoulder, tore it out. So for me, I gotta be careful. Whatever it is that I do, gotta make sure that I don't tear it again. So when I get that full pump in my shoulders, my back, my upper back, my chest, now we'll go for stretches. Let's go. All right, we'll go full stretch. We close. We hold one, two, now we go back four to five seconds on the negative. So we go forward, squeeze, one, two, go down, one, two, three, four, five, back, squeeze, one, two, now we count the same. Full stretch. When you stretch, do not go over your range of motion. So. If I'm stretching here, I don't want to drop my shoulders and go backwards more. I want to keep my chest up. I will go up with the weight. You guys can see, start with 80s. 80 here is pretty light. So now we're going to go up a little bit higher. We'll go to like 110. We'll do three or four sets of these. Now, we always increase the weight. And as we increase the weight, we go down with the reps. So if I started and I did 25 reps, which is normally what I start with. Then I'll go to 20, then I'll go to 18, then I'll go to 15. No matter what, when I do a stretch, I go between 12 to 15 reps. And that's how I get this, where you have to also take into consideration, I haven't really trained in a few months. Like I train here and there, I haven't really put all my time and effort into training because now I do social media. But before, if I diet right for the next two weeks and train very hard for two weeks, I literally look like Iron Man. And that's the look that you want to have. And it doesn't matter how much you weigh. You could look like Iron Man at 130 pounds. You could look like Iron Man at 250 pounds. I personally love the fact that I still am big, but I look athletic. So I was not too long ago, which was three months ago. I was like 230. Way too big for me. I'm going to the movie industry. It doesn't fit my needs. I also do all my stunts, my fight choreography, all those things. So it does not fit what I need to do. And my legs got way too big. So I haven't trained now legs for six weeks. Yesterday was my first day doing legs again. And I still didn't go 110% probably went like 60, 70% because I'm just getting the blood flow and the pump going. 
And I did a lot of stretches, a lot of lunges, things of that kind of nature and workouts, you know? But now, if you give me two weeks, I will look like Iron Man. And right now I'm weighing, I would say, 212, I believe. So 212, I stand at about six feet high. And I mean, that's a perfect weight for me. My legs are in good size. My upper body is in good size. Obviously, when I'm not in a pump, my upper body will shrink a little bit. And then the whole body look more symmetrical. If I got a pump in my legs, then my legs look too big for my upper body while I'm training because the blood drives through that area. It all drives straight to the area of where you're training. So now we're training the upper body. The upper body will look much bigger than the lower body. It also depends on what pants you're wearing, what kind of clothing. Like right now, the pants that I'm wearing, if you show them, they're a little bit tight, so it looks different. Plus, my shirt is a little bit bigger, right? So it's gonna make my legs look smaller, especially in the workout. But at the end of the day, they're very symmetrical. As soon as I take off my clothes, if I look at myself and I'm in boxers, I look 100% symmetrical, and that's what we want to look like. We want to look beautiful. We want to look like we step out of the gym, and we don't have to tell somebody we're at the gym. People just go, dude, how much time do you spend at the gym? I'm like, well, about two hours a day, <laughs> you know? But it is what it is, guys. You want to look the part, not just have to go talk about it. It's like someone who's a big businessman and he drives a nice car, he wears nice clothing, he walks with class, he just walks with value. Guess what? Nobody's gonna look at him and be like, hey man, have you ever done business before? Or he doesn't have to come and talk about the fact that he does business. People see him, they see business. Business just arrived. Same thing here. I walk into a place, people go, dude, how much time do you spend in the gym? I'm like about two hours a day. They're like, dude, you look like you sleep in the gym. Like, you know what, come to think about it, I used to be a member of 24 Hour Fitness, and it was a few times that I slept there, so I'd get a workout in the morning. And I was like 18 years old. But, long story short, I got kicked out of there. Fight, let's go. Now, if you wanna make it a little bit more intense, really train the muscle, and wear it out, go into a push-up position, and go to failure. All right, guys. So in the middle of my workout, just like I went and did some back, I'll come in and I'll do a little bit of shoulder. Now you can do this with dumbbells. It's the same exact thing but I'll do like a one superset, get a bunch of blood into the shoulder, make the shoulder cap bolder, nicer. Obviously helps me stabilize more weight. Now I'm listening to Lose Yourself by Eminem. And right now he said, you get one chance. <clears throat> Only one time. So you gotta do it, you gotta do it now guys. It's not later, it's not next Monday. It's now. All right, guys, take a look very closely at what I'm doing. I call this the seven, 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 seven. Four times seven. I'll go seven times halfway up from the bottom. Then I'll go halfway down. Then I'll go seven full ones. And then seven negatives with five second drops. So let me show you right now. Come here closer. I need to be with light weight for this one. Okay, we're here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now full seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if here you feel like you're getting tired, that means that you really got to go a little bit lighter. Here you go, one, two, three, four, five. That's called a negative. Boom. And again, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Up. And that right there, guys, is the seven, 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 seven. So let me explain to you really quick what it is that I just did. I started from the bottom. Some people have trouble pushing out from the bottom. That means the way that you call this in training is getting out of the hole. So when you're down here, some people will try to lift very heavy weight. I'll push halfway to get the motion of getting out of the hole. Give it that stretch. Then when I bring it up top, I go halfway. Some people will bring it out of the hole and they'll get stuck here. You're stringing that motion right here. Make it stronger to lock it in. Then I do full sevens. That means I'm pushing the blood and forcing it into the muscle, into that area. For the people that don't know, when you're getting blood into the area, you're also pushing in nutrients. So when you go after a workout and you eat, drink your protein shake, whatever it is, it's meant for you to grow and to feed the muscle because you're literally driving all the blood and nutrients there. When you're eating, you're feeding just that area, mainly that area. Then I go negatives. Negatives are the most important thing and it's called time under tension. They're the most important for getting stronger. So if you want to get really strong, you got to do a lot of negatives. When you do negatives and you do them with heavier weight, Let's say you're somebody who could lift 150 pounds one or two times on the bench press. If you want to go higher, you need to have someone standing directly behind you and spotting you. And you'll do what's called again a negative. You'll hold the weight and you'll drop it down slowly. Five seconds, seven seconds, 10 seconds, whatever it is that you feel comfortable with. And then they'll help you pull it up and then you'll do another negative. So that way you don't lose so much strength trying to bring it up, but you're getting the muscle to feel you going backwards in reverse in those negatives with heavier weight than you normally do. Now, one more thing I want to explain to you. Stress to the muscle is what makes the muscle grow. Now, the muscle will grow because it creates something called adaptation to the stress. It's adapting to whatever you're putting it through. Now, the brain will get a signal, says, hey, I gotta do this shit. I'm lifting more weight than I can. You gotta help me out here. And then it'll help it grow more muscle tissue. The muscle growth is adaptation to stress. So your muscle will send a signal to the brain asking to grow, so you'll be able to lift the same amount of weight next time. That's how you grow. After that, you go feed the muscle. You feed it, you're good. You have to do it within 15 minutes after your workout, and that's the way to grow. Now, let me show you the next one because we gotta go, go, go on this, and we don't stop. Why? Because we wanna get this workout out of the way as quick as possible, and our workout is more than enough for beginners, media, and advanced. So if you're a beginner, you could do an hour workout. If you're advanced, you could do an hour workout. It just depends the amount of intensity that you're going through the training. So let's get another one. After I do a lot of fucking sets, I'll throw in a little bit more weight, and I'll go for a max. When I go for max, I'm not max like one time. I'm talking about the most amount of reps I could hit with two plates, which for people who don't know, two plates are 245 pounds. We have 45 pounds on each plate, and then a 45 pound bar. That brings us to 225 pounds. And I'm pretty tired, I'm pretty exhausted. So let's see how many reps I could get in. Minimum 15. Let's go. We got Wiz Khalifa with them boys. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, we got 20. And I call that 20 solid ones. I don't go, you know, go 20 fucking solid. That's how we look like this. We got here 20s. And we're going to do some flies. Stretch. Now, when I stretch, I'm stretching my chest backwards. I'm bringing it back. So if you notice, I'm not going to here. I'm going to here. Back. What kind of so Nile guys. Uh, what kind of poses? poses. Poo, I don't know. <laughs> Most muscular. <laughs> double buys. Let's get it. Let's give him double buy. Most muscular. All right. You guys, this guy's no fucking joke. I'll tell you what. You got one of the greatest bodies I've seen. <laughs> no way, dude. Yeah, bro, come no on. Way. Let's be real. At the end of the day, I see a lot of bodybuilders. You have one of the best physiques I've seen. You walk around, people look at you. Like, you're noticeable. The second you walk into a place, you're noticeable. You're like, what the fuck? I told you, remember last time I was like, you remind me of Bolo Young? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy that used to fight with Bruce Lee. Right, right. That guy was noticeable. He walked into a place and was like, who the fuck is that? You know? You got the full look. Like, you got your hairstyle is different, the body, the physique, your outfit. You're always fresh as fuck. Oh, I just want to have your upper chest. Upper chest? Yeah, this thing. Okay, <laughs> you got you to gotta train upper chest with me. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed everything you guys watched today. I gave you guys a part of my workout. Obviously, there's so much more to do for your chest. But I hope that you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one because we're going to come back and we're going to show you more and more and more shit that you've never seen before. And I'm sure that everything that I showed you today is completely different than the way people work out because I've had some of the best in the game come train with me. They're like, Ben, dude, where the fuck did you make up this shit? So I love you all. Thank you. Make sure if you're not subscribed to subscribe because there's a lot more coming. And if you are subscribed, make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment. And let me know what you want to see for next time. Let's go.